Hi, this is Tom at Avidai, and I'm here at my home office, and I want to put X-Plane on my computer here and hook it up to the IFD XP trainer so we can see how that works. Uh, so let's see. What I did is I got, uh, first thing I needed to do is for my computer, I didn't have a DVD, so I went on Amazon and got me a $25 USB DVD drive. Got me a copy of X-Plane 11. Don't remember how much it was, roughly about 40 bucks, I think. And took, it's a ridiculous amount of CDs, so it took, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour to, to load all the, all the uh, data. It takes about 60 gigabytes of hard drive space and you need to have a pretty fast computer so, and a good graphics card and all that, so. Uh, I got it all loaded up. Once I did that, I uh, I went over to my iPad and I searched for Avidyne. And you can see here's the IFD trainer, which is I already have. Here is the IFD 100, which you use in the airplane. And here's IFD Trainer XP. I've already downloaded it, so it says open here. But if you didn't have it yet, it would say get, like you see there. So this is IFD Trainer XP. And that will allow you to interface with your uh, computer. So both your iPad and your computer, in this case my laptop, those have to be on the same network. Uh, my home network, which is TomNet79. And my laptop is also on the same Wi-Fi network. So what I can do is now that I've got X-Plane installed, I come over here and I launch X-Plane. You see it right there. And while that's loading, I'm going to come over here and I've got IFD 100. I've got the X IFD Trainer and here's IFD Trainer XP. I'm going to launch that. Let's see, so now let's let's go to settings on the uh, X-Plane. I click settings, and you can also get to it by push selecting this little icon up here in the corner right there. Um, one of the things you need to do is make sure you selected broadcast to all mapping apps on this network. Make sure you check that box. I didn't do that. It took me a while to figure it out, so... Uh, that'll save you some time. Check that box. Go back to the main menu. Let's make a new flight. And let's just start out here. And if you, when you're launching, it takes a while for it to launch. And you'll notice here I've got the iPad XP up and running. As soon as they sync, this will snap in and the frequencies will come up. And they're immediately communicating. So the only problems I had is I have multiple networks in my house. And... When I thought I had them both on the same network, they weren't, of course, and so it didn't work. And I didn't have that one box checked in the settings. So once I cured that, it worked like a champ. There it is, my frequencies have come up. I've got my flight plan. I'm sitting here in Nashua at the airport. And notice my frequencies here. I can fly with this, but I've also got the default avionics panel there, which has the 530W. But whatever frequencies I put in here, you'll notice they'll match over here. So it's automatically slaved and the IFD will take priority. Okay, I'm gonna reset to my home airport, file main menu. I'm going to uh, flight configuration. I'm gonna tell it we're gonna be uh, change location. I'm, we're gonna go to KBED and take off out of Avidyne's home airport in Boston area and load that and then we'll start a new flight. Okay, so we're sitting on the ground at K-Bed. Here's my uh, FMS, my X-Plane IFD trainer. I've got the frequencies loaded. I'm sitting at Bedford and we're just gonna fly up to Nashua. Uh, I'm gonna put in I'm gonna, there's an intersection up there. I'll put in the Pelon intersection, and then we will go direct to K Ash. There it is. All right, and now we can activate that flight plan. And if we look at it here, 
you can see we're on runway 23. If I zoom out here, there we go. We're sitting at runway 23. We're on runway 23, and we can take off and go on our way here. And we can see we're sitting on the runway here. We've got our chart. We need to switch this. Make sure your trainer's in the GPS mode. And off we go. That's pretty much all there is to it. Make sure your PC and your iPad are on the same network. Make sure you've got the broadcast to all mapping apps on the network checked on the network settings or settings network. Make sure your trainer is in GPS mode and you should be all set. Happy flying.